Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to do some stuff that's going to jazz up the customer back end, okay? So if we log in as a customer, I'm using Rambo and Rambo Pass, right? Uh, this is what happens. And that's kind of nice, but I actually think that we can do a lot better than that. So here's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to open up your templates controller and go to the public bootstrap method, right? And then we're going to go this load module site security and then we're going to say data customer ID equals this site security and that would be just so we know what's happening it would be this get user ID thing okay so there we go right and the vibe is this loads up public bootstrap so let's load up public I almost, <laughs> I almost typed in public butt strap. That's another website altogether, folks. Uh, <laughs> that's a different tutorial. Anyway, um, if we go to this public bootstrap thing, it now has a customer ID. Now that customer ID is either going to be, oh geez, well it's either going to be a zero or it's going to be empty. I can't remember how I made the thing, but who actually cares, okay? So what we can now do is we can jump in here where the content starts and we can say if customer ID is greater than zero. Now this means that the customer is logged in. So I'm just going to say echo, uh, am I going to say echo? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to say echo. I'm going to say include uh, customer panel top dot php <laughs> okay okay so if we now go into the templates folder i am so making this up as i go along here okay so i'm going to make up a file called customer panel top dot php and the vibe is that if someone is logged in let's log in rambo Rambo Pass. Oh, geez, I messed that up. Rambo Pass. Okay, so do you see how it says customer panel top here? And it also says it here, and it says it here, it says it everywhere. Well, we can do some cool stuff here. So if I go onto the Bootstrap website and I go to this uh, CSS thing at the top, and then click on navbar, right? So we're looking for navbar. CSS. Ugh. Do you know what it is? I'm on the wrong option. It's components. Sorry. Oh, gee, I'm too, so sorry. It's components. Click on components. Hello. Yes, hello. Components navs, right? Now, the vibe is there's a thing called tabs here. Do you see this? And I have to say, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to copy this tabs thing. And on customer panel top, I'm going to chuck that in. But I'm going to do a bit of styling. I'll say margin top 24 pixels because I don't want it right at the top of the page. And I'm going to have the options saying your messages. And then we'll have your orders. And then we'll have update your profile. Uh, so if we save that, and then we refresh, you'll see that when the customer is logged in, we've now got this really cool kind of secondary admin thing, which I think is rather cool. Don't you think it's rather cool? Yes, I think it's pretty cool as well. So check this out. This is the coolest thing in the universe. When somebody logs in, okay, and they've now logged in like that, They've got this welcome to the private part of the site stuff, yeah, okay. But actually, we can do a whole lot better because we can go into your accounts, welcome. And instead of just this miserable uh, welcome, in fact, I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Hang on a second. Hang on one second. We can... Yeah, let's add logout as well. Why not? Why not? I've just thought of that. 
Okay, so let's add that in. I'll maybe take this out later on. I'm not entirely sure if this is where I want the logout thing to go, you know. Uh, but we'll do that. I can never remember if it's sign in or log out. Anyway, uh, something like that. Okay, save. Let's have a look. Okay, logging out here. That is not too bad. So, check this. When someone logs in, instead of giving them this rubbish welcome to the private part of the site, this message thing, why don't we go echo modules run and then we'll say inquiries um, let me see forward slash draw customer inbox now remember we do have a customer ID still I'm gonna just prove that right if I go echo customer ID die right look do you see it says one so the thing can remember the customer ID so why don't we say draw customer inbox and we'll pass in the customer ID so now we can jump on to inquiries like so we can get rid of these test things we don't need those I'm going to say function draw customer inbox it takes a customer ID okay now this is going to be remarkably do you hear me it's going to be remarkably similar to the inbox that the admin had do you remember all of this stuff okay it's going to be pretty similar of course we don't need to load up a full template and all of that stuff we do not need to do that okay um so I'll just take, I think I'll just take this stuff here and we'll paste in like that. I don't even know if I'll need the flash thing, but uh, I'm just going to say this load view and it's going to say customer inbox and I'm passing in a data variable okay let's pass in the customer ID it does not do any harm I don't even know if we'll need it but that's okay and well we've got fetch inquiries I'm gonna say fetch customer inquiries I don't mind passing in a folder type I don't know if we'll even use it but I definitely want to pass in the customer ID okay so fetch customer inquiries what on earth does this do well, it's going to be very similar to fetch inquiries. Look, there's fetch inquiries in all its glory. So I'm just going to copy the stuff from fetch inquiries. And where well, we've got this sent to thing here, I'm going to see where sent to is customer ID. Okay, so the query is cool, the folder is cool, flash message, customer inbox. If we now open up the inquiries module, views, I'm going to make a new file called customer inbox.php. Going to save it. And if we now uh, refresh the screen here, you'll see that it's drawing the customer inbox. Not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, um, in the next video, we'll make the inbox look nice, but I don't want to do too much in this video. So thank you very much indeed. This, this is good. This was a good one. I'm happy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.